Good morning. How are we doing this lovely Saturday morning? Yeah, that's right. I said Saturday. For the longest time now, I've taken Saturdays off because downtime's important, as we all know. But I'm actually paying it forward because I want to be having some holidays next weekend about a bikers rally again. So I need to get some stock in because I'm going to be missing days I would normally have been sourcing. It's a gorgeous day as well today. So we're going to head over to File Coast, hopefully hit three boot sales but at least two plan for this weekend is hit two boot sales today two boot sales tomorrow get as much stock in as possible and smash the list in next week so let's hit the road jack and see what we can find yeah all right thank you should be cheaper than cx <laughs> yeah and there's a bloke doing the same one last week yeah. Up in the corner. For fiver. Are they just empty boxes, are they just the speakers? No, no, they've got the boxes with the speakers oh. in them. <laughs> How much have you got on them? 70 each. Because it was, uh, they were like 180 brand new. Yeah, yeah. What's in the box? What's in our box? Just some sunglasses. Movie ones. Yeah, but, uh, but you never know. I'm old, we don't kind of think about it. What about your skates? Uh, Tanner. Quite inside I've never ever used them. Yeah. See? What size are they? Fiver. Uh, size nine. Fire more. Fiver. Yeah, I'll do the turn for now. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, mate. Just appreciate the car. How much is your clue, though? It's weird, isn't it? It's upside down, front, front and back. Yeah, that's, that's the front, that's that's side, yeah. Makes it yeah. unique. Yeah. That's yeah. a, uh, yeah. It's worth a thousand pounds, this, you know? Yeah. I can't believe how quiet it is this morning. I thought it'd be even on a day like today. I don't know. We usually go to St. Michael's. I prefer St. Michael's to it. Yeah, school. that's. I'm going there next. Are you? Yeah, yeah. That's Bonnie. Yeah, sorry, it's not for sale. That. I've, oh, okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. My husband just put a box together. Yeah. And he's put my own personal stuff. Oh, <laughs> he's in bother, isn't he? <laughs> sorry. No, you're all right. You've got good taste anyway. I, mean, I think that's I mean, what. I'm filing cabinet. It's been in the garage since we moved. And in the garage, you'd be in the bloody doghouse. How much is your light saver? Two pounds. Two pounds. Yeah, good chance. Do you have the base plate for this? No, just that. Just that. How much is your lamp? That is so good. Is it? Yeah. Oh, gutted. I've been looking for a lamp like that for a long time, yeah. How much was it? Just out of interest. Tenner? Yeah. Oh, I'm even more going now. <laughs> How much are your Osmo sets? Yeah, it's uh, Just don't seem to be able to spend any money at Norcross today. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. It's a weird, weird day. If it wasn't for bumping into my mate Harry, I'd be in trouble. Anyway, off to St Michael's now, see what we can find there. St. Michael's boot sale and it is very large. A lot of traders on here though. Should be able to find stuff that other resellers have missed though. Positive thoughts Dave, positive thoughts. Oh. How much are your cycle helmets pal? Which one? The O'Neill ones, all of them. They're 40 pounds. Yeah. Right, the full face ones. The other ones are 20 quid. 20 quid. 20. I'll see if I can make it work. Right. But these are 40. Yeah. They're expensive, my lad says. 
Uh, I'll give it a pass today. Thank you anyway. How much are the boots? 25. Okay. Those? I'll do them at 25 as well. How are you, boss? Ah, it's come with this truck, come prepared the lad. Oh, I know, yeah, you got to do these days, haven't you? Oh, gee, oh, good lad. Just saves me legs going back to the car. Just the bowls then, the 40, the bag and accessories there are 10, and that's 50. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ligament, you can't fill your truck up there. No, oh. not today. <laughs> Always in luck with, though. Yeah. Hello, are you okay? Good morning, how are you? Good morning, very good, thank you. How much are your boots? Oh, the brand new, the mine, but we had to give up motorbikes, so they've never even been worn. So I want at least ten or four of them. Size five? No. Well, it says size five, but I'm oh, only size four. Oh, there you go. That's odd. Euro 38 is size five, but it's size four. Yeah. I'm only size four, so they were just a nice fit. Yeah. Tempting, but too small for a tenner. It's all that, it's all that under there as well. You got loads. Have you got those, Bob? I've got the 50 quid. I know it's a lot, but they're brushes. Yeah. I've never used them. They're brushes. You get a bad one. I know it's a bad one. How much is your bike jacket? Hello. There's one or two dog owners not doing what they're meant to do. Please pick up after the dog. Thank you. Also, you when you're jacket? driving on and off the field, yeah, go a bit steadier. Okay, it's kicking dust up and it's not good for my lungs. Say something positive about today's trip to uh, to Michael's and Bill's Brit, Um Hill. Um, it's a lovely day. Uh, the, uh, the grass is nicely cut, so it's not very difficult to pull the trolley. Um, I'm getting an early bath. <laughs> uh, let's go home and do the roundup. Now call me a glutton for punishment, but I'm going to hit one more boot sale before I go home. This is Greenhouse Boot Sale. I've only ever done well here once, and that was from one trader. It's half past nine. I'm really not holding my breath. God, I'm a negative bugger today. What's going on? Kick your ass, Dave. How much your boots, lovely? 35. It's got a vintage motorbike. All oh, right. So it's bought vintage boots. You know, with the buckles on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What well, bike is it? Powder blue. It's powder blue and a lot of chrome and very big. Apart from that, I don't could tell you. Does but it if go... he was here, talk to your blooming. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes brum. Yeah, but brum, yeah. yeah. I'm going to play a little game. I'm going to play the. Let's see how many song titles I can get into conversations with people. Wow, these boots are made for walking, aren't they? No, they're made for dancing. <laughs> right, mate, have a good day. Definitely eat ours. I'll see you later. All right, mate, be lucky. Size 10. Hand stitch, hands all handmade. Back in the day, they'd have been a small fortune then, wouldn't they? Still, I know. Yeah. 50 quid a pair now. Bloody hell. What have you got in your accordion? 65. When did you last see one with a complete case? Alvari is that? Yeah. Alvari. It's still got a complete case. Yeah. Which is very unusual because they're usually knackered. Look at the car. I'll leave only half it. I did have one in the ground. This yeah. one. This one broke. Yeah. You've got to go out and hitch up your wagon though, haven't you? <laughs> nice. Bargain. How do you, boss? How are you doing, boss? Not too bad. How much is your fireside set? 25 quid. Oh, stick too close. You'd have a ring of fire, wouldn't you? Yeah. Please as well. 25 quid? Yeah. Feel the weight of them. <laughs> That's something else, aren't it? Yeah, they're good. Come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you do 20? Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want to take them all. No. Come oh, man, I agree, man. I'm in your, your trolley. Yeah. I was going to leave my trolley in the car, I'm glad I bloody didn't, no. Yeah, hey, <laughs> Bob on that. Thank you very much. It's not as warm as they said, is it? No, it's not. I'm glad, really, because of this wind. It's just not right. Well, you'll get home and you'll be burnt and not realise it. Loads of pop on this morning. What have you got on that one? 18. I came in like a wrecking ball at this boot sale, expecting to get loads of stuff and not uh, not so much at the minute. Yeah, the third one of the day, though. I've been over to Norcross and well, I mean, it was busy, wasn't it? it was, but it was weird. It was the bills were there, but it's, it's all traders, all traders. Yeah. So it's one of them, isn't it? I mean, it might have gone well, but you can't win them all, can you? Time, yeah, you can drop on, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Have a good day, man. How do? Hi there, how are you? Not too bad. on camera yeah a vlog for youtube mm -hmm. so um yeah just boot sales on that third one today i've been going around here like a rocket man but yeah just not uh yeah. not finding anything at the minute yeah. well apart from i'm gonna go around a bit quicker i've got a kite there if you want to put it on <laughs> that'll uh that'll get you around a bit quicker yeah, yeah that <laughs> what have you on your boots i'm a chally looking for 35 for that right all bags yeah if there was any of a make i'd probably Maybe reduce a little. Well, the Accus. Oh, fibre for them, mate. Do a deal if you want to do both pairs. I'll be a million miles away. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buying um, Altbergs for, I think, most of Hazel Tanner. So I'll do those, though. If there was very, very well worn and stuff like that, then I'd give you a free yeah. pair. Yeah. The brand new. Yeah, I'm, I'm falling over them at the minute. So. Buddy, thank you. 20 quid, mate. Five, I wonder. Nice try. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Much obliged. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. Uh, no, How much are your scales, boss? I've got a tenner on them now, get a shot. You've got to wait for him. Oh, do you know what? I'll be, I'll be insulting you if I give you any less. You would, because I'd just tell you to do it. <laughs> I don't know if I've got a strong one, mate. Oh, it's alright, I'll just chuck them in there. Have you got any solid tape? Man, you trying to just seal that bag up or a lucky band or whatever? Oh, bob on. Oh, my scales. Perfect. Thank you very much, sir. How much is your jacket? Can you have a look, please? I will talk to you. Thank you. Yeah. Would you go to 20? Got to keep motorbiking, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, lovely. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Very, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, well, well. Look who it is. How you doing, my friend? Are you well? I thought I'd... Yeah, side. yeah. I thought I'd bump you into you at um, Norcross, but to no avail. No. It's been a weird day today, I tell you. Yeah. Absolutely weird. Yeah. I feel a bad moon rising. <laughs> So where have you been today? No cross, St Michael's. I wasn't going to come here actually because yeah. it's normally a bit pants, but well, it's on the way back to the uh, go. That's it, yeah, job, yeah. It? yeah. What have you got in your jackets? Uh, I got ten on the jackets. Yeah. Uh, that's the last. Um, I came here last week. Just got so much stuff. Yeah. Yeah. To shift. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to be here for maybe a couple of weeks just to get rid of all yeah. that sort of. It's you know. good to clear the decks, so. Yeah, yeah. You've got to clear the decks every now and again. A lot of space as well. You yeah. Realise. Uh... 
Oh well, don't worry, be happy. Anyway, and uh, have we'll a success. Anyway. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Keep fighting the fight. <laughs> See you later, Paul. Okay, I'll tell you, I'm ready for the green, green grass of home. Okay, I'm not going to count that one. <laughs> it was actually worthwhile coming today to Greenhouse. Uh, I've got a few pickups, not nothing staggering. Aside from one thing, which may be the pickup of the day. I'm going to check when I get home. I know I'm going to make money on it, but it's either going to be the difference between 20 to 30 quid or up to 100 pound. Anyway, I'll stop waffling because I need a nap. So I'm cooking. It is, I am moist. I am a moist boy today. It is warm. Get home, fan on, nap time. Do the roundup in a wee while. I'll see you then. One day later. Okay, so in slight change of plan, it's now Sunday morning, and I thought if I did the roundup for both days separately, this video would just take like forever. So I'm going to do it at the end of today. We're going to try and hit two boot sales again today, Bursco and Robbins Island. That's the prediction. The sky is looking a bit ropey. The forecast is good for today. It did actually forecast storms last night, but so I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the weatherman's got it right today. Only one way to find out. Let's get on the road. 5am. I think this is the earliest I've ever got to this boot sale. Feel it in my bones. It's going to be an awesome day. Oh, stop jinxing it, Dave. Shut up. <laughs> Absolutely bloody golden contact there. And I'm not going to uh, be sharing that bit of footage. I'm not even sorry about it. But it's that much of a golden contact. I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. Which I have done on this channel before. Being an oversharing kind of guy. But I've got the three Stranger Things Monopoly. Nine Monster High Dolls. And Harry Potter bookends. £123. You're making about £8 each on Amazon on the Monster Highs. Probably about £10 each net profit on the Monopolies. And the Harry Potter bookends are an exclusive. So there's not much in the way of precedent there. I paid a tenner for that. And the sale price will probably be about 50 quid. So apologies for not sharing that little bit of information. Well, I'm not actually sorry at all, because obviously I've got to, got to make some money myself. Anyway, on with the boot sale. Morning, boss. Hello, boss. How are we doing today? Not so bad. Not so bad. As long as it's dry, I'm happy. Oosh. How much have you got in your bull worker? What do you give me for that? I know they, I've looked online, they're the same old, I've seen them online, they might never get it, but what's it worth you? It's, it's an original one, it's all complete. It's Ooh. in the back of my shed, it's been there for a long time. Five? Give us eight. Six. Seven. Deal. Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love a man of barter. That's if you see, it works the streets. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was. I did actually what, what, I wander over thinking Don't that. Don't upset him. Muscles <laughs> on him. It's all right, we've agreed the price now, I'm not asked. <laughs> good luck with it anyway, mate. Yeah, belt in. Cheers, man. Cheers, matey. Thanks, Thanks very much. Much obliged, mate. Thank you. Morning, boss. Morning. Uh, don't want another tonker. Morning. Morning. How much are your trainers? Uh, the different sizes, uh, I've only worn them once, so a fiver each, though. So that's yeah. a good make, rock and roll, converse, converse, rock and roll. Yeah, we'll do a fiver each of those. Okay. I'm not even going to waggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you oh, very thank much. You. Thanks. Have a super day. And you, thank you. Okay. Morning. How, How much are you, Wally's? Could you do five on them? Uh, no, I want six on them, thanks. No, that's fair enough, yeah. I admire a lady, I'll stick to her guns. <laughs> Morning. Mm. How much are your welly bobs? Uh, 30 quid on them. We should pay £200 for them. Cool, oh, saw her mm. coming. <laughs> so called the Balmoral and the Neoprene and. Yeah. All the rest of it. 39. 39's a 7, isn't it? Is it? 6 is, I think they are. 6. Oh, yeah. 36. 39. Yeah, that makes sense. Knackered and not done much. It's the heat. <laughs> Ready for it. Oh, set off this morning, it was rain and it was like, hmm. <laughs> that might pull a few people off today. Mm. How close to 20 can we get? Come on. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> the one of them she's used in and then. Oh, 
belted. Boxes, well, eh? Boxes got to be worth a fiver on its own, isn't it? Let's play that, cheers. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> Five and twenty. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed. Enjoy. Have a good day. Cheers now. Like the charging port and all that. Yeah. Along with the camera itself, of course. Like a bit of vintage. Yeah. I think I bought it around 1995 yeah. or something like that. It would have been state of the art then, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, it was, it was priced at state of the art. Yeah, well. I can imagine. I can, yeah. How much have you got in it? That's the most important thing. I'd like just to get 15 quid for it. Yeah. Just a question, do you do like YouTube and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, I've logged, oh, yeah. logged boot sales for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, would you go to 10? Rather not. Or oh, meet me somewhere in the middle. <laughs> thirteen. I'll check yeah, your hand at thirteen. Enough. Fair enough. There you go. I, I do. I do like a lady or haggle. <laughs> 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 And um, thirteen. Thank, Thank you very you much. Very much. Have a good day. Thank you. I've held out as long as I can at Verska, but FOMO is getting the better of me. So we're off to Robins Island. First time I've been there since I think possibly even before lockdown. Keep your fingers crossed. Boot sale number two and the sun's come out to play. I knew it was going to be a hot day today because it was 17 degrees when I set off from home this morning at about half past four. It's a fibre, mate. Yeah. You know I've never, yeah, I'd never heard of it before. I just like... Uh, Finding out new things about vintage items. Yeah, it's an interesting. Uh, it is, isn't it? Works yeah. as well. Take Morning. How much are your wally dogs? Um, five pound for the two, or you can take five pound for the three. He's <laughs> like, he wants to get rid. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the most attractive chap in the world, is it? No. Yeah, um, my girls picked it up ages ago because we had, used to have them by the fire and that much. So yeah, no, of... fair enough. Yeah, I'll go on then. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Cheers. thanks. Three pounds for that, bud. Three quid. Bargain. Bargain. Never, never been used all there. Does it work? Yeah, yeah, it works. Now, how does it work? Oh, how does it work? Yeah. It's um, it's infrared, right, so okay. it's just a, the same as a remote control. And then you, you what's called, you teach it to your own telly how yeah. to do the uh, how to turn it on, up and down for volume, change oh, channel. Okay. With one button. That's it. it well, it's, it's it's actions. Oh, I see. So it's one. Right. Okay, that's clever. Yeah. Sound cheers, Thank Cheers, you. Mate. Thank you. How much is your jacket? Oh, yeah. Levi's, uh, that's seven pounds. Seven. Would you go five on it? Go six. Yep, yep. And do cool. six, yep. It's more to make sure my wally dogs don't break. <laughs> if they get home in one piece, there's, there'd be nothing shy of a bloody miracle. Oh, and you're, uh, do you have a remote for your Blu-ray player? Um, no. <laughs> no, fair enough. That's the only thing. Well, you've got yeah, you've got your uh, you've got your wand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cracking answer. <laughs> Why have you got on it? The Blu-ray five. five. That one, yeah. So I'll do both for a tenner. Perfect. Much obliged. Superstar. Cheers, man. Cracking. Thank you very much. Have a good day. You too, bud. Do you? How much is the jacket? Love the jacket, love. Um, three quid, mate. 
all the way from Los Angeles back. Yeah. I've got one myself with a paper on the back that we've painted. Oh, the airbrush kind of thing. Yeah, airbrush yeah. one, yes. Yes. And he's and and he's, not, he's not allowing me to sell mine. Venice Beach or somewhere. All right. You'd have been thought it would have been a bit too hot for stuff like that in yeah. Venice Beach, wouldn't you? Yeah, mine's got a picture of Madonna on the back of it. Oh, it's got my cool. name underneath, and it is lovely. Nice. But when he got me a cheers, thank you. It was always, I was a lot smaller then, it was too big. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I couldn't move in it. But I put it on the other day, and they were going, Oh, that's sushi now. You got a bit. I said, Yes, so you say I'm the fat cam now. <laughs> <laughs> That'll look well in a frame and a man cave, though, eh? Yeah, it will. <laughs> oh, but it's not a fish in me, so I'm not having a man cave. <laughs> Fair enough. That's me done at Robins Island. It's a much smaller boot sale, but there's a much higher concentration of private sellers. I know it's not good to prejudge because I've done really well out of traders as well, but private sellers, generally speaking, that's where the big bargains are. Right, let's go and do the big roundup. I'll keep it as brief as possible. This video is gonna be subtitled, The Importance of Making Contacts. Making contacts this weekend has meant it's turned from a bit of a meh weekend, to be honest, into a, okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> Let's get into it and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so the defining line for pickups between yesterday and today are those monopolies. So everything left of those monopolies was yesterday, Saturday. Everything right, everything right of those monopolies, including the monopolies, are from today. And right out of the gate, a very, 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 very decent return on these vintage, possibly even antique fireside set. I know, I know you guys know that I pick up fireside sets a lot, all the bloody time, but this is a bit special. The more stereotypical ones I pick up are upright and the tools hang around the crown. But this set is designed to sit along the front of a fireplace. So I've got some of these in stock as well. I would have picked up the tools on their own actually, but fortunately this set comes with the fire dogs as well because the matching fantastic selling point. Three piece set, which is quite typical with this type of set. You wouldn't generally get a brush with a set like this. Very, very ornate. I paid 20 pound for this set, but I wouldn't even say that was paid up the fact that it's ornate is a, a huge selling point because some of the comps of sets like this aren't as pretty i mentioned in the past the potential listing value of sets like this but i'm going to hedge my bets on it there's very very few comps that's more likely to do with availability than it is a value but i'm going to put a listing value of 100 pound on this set i may revise that up i certainly won't uh, it, it certainly won't be any less than that as an initial offering but i think at 100 pound and that'll go pretty quickly, I would have thought. Now, these are the first example of contacts being awesome today. A, a trader that I bump into regularly, I've bought off loads of times in the past. I asked him just straight as he was opening his van, what have you got for me today? And he said, I could have these t-shirts for free. They're RST race department t-shirts, six of them. Listing value on those, 20 pound each. Maybe free postage, may activate the make offer button on the listing as well, but that's free money. So thank you, sir, you are a gentleman. From the same supplier as well, I'm not going to add these to the total listing value for today because I took one of these for research. This absolutely genuine, they're not copies, a Logitech um, a Pro Mouse. This is the Lightspeed Hero 25K. These comp new on Amazon and eBay for around about the 75 to 80 pound mark. The only difference with these is they weren't originally intend for, intended for the UK market. So they have foreign language text on the boxes as well. I'm not confident enough to send these into Amazon, not because I don't think they're genuine, but with Amazon, the packaging is part of the product. So unless the packaging is exactly like the Amazon listing, then they'll just get batted back to me. So it's not really worth sending in. However, I'm looking into the viability of putting these on eBay at the moment. Shouldn't be a problem at all and I'll, chances are I'll be able to undercut the competition as well. I can't actually remember how much you wanted for them either but I remember there was plenty of meat on the bones as well compared to comps. I shall update on that when I've got more information. 
Some really nice adult skates. Now, these haven't had much wear at all. These are the K2 Moto M84. Picking up skates all the time, as you guys well know. Always check console on there because there's a lot of crap out there as well. A lot of low value and because of the cost of postage and whatnot, really not worth picking up. So it's really, it's really up to you guys to sort the wheat from the chaff as far as whether it's worth picking up or not. These most certainly are. I paid a tenner for them and the listing value on those is £45. These scales are absolutely stunning. Uh, you guys have seen me pick up scales countless times before again, but this is a really, really nice example. It's not been repainted. It's all the original paintwork. It doesn't take anything in the way of polishing up or anything like that. It's going to look really great for the pictures. Full set of bell weights as well. Now, I've been getting between 35 and 40 part five pound consistently for cast iron scales, depending on the brand and what condition they're in. But because of the brand of these, which is Libra, L-I-B-R-A. I'm going to stick my neck out. I'm going to stick a listing value of £50 on these scales. The cost price on those, I want to say £10 actually. Really nice Heingerich textile motorcycle jacket now. Now, I probably would have left this because it's a textile jacket. Heingerich's a great brand, well-recognised, uh, good quality gear. Uh, leathers command a much higher price than uh, textile jackets. That's just the way it is across the board, regardless of brand. But I picked this up uh, because it was new with tags. Still got the original price on it, £110. I paid £20 for this jacket. But obviously, because it's new with tags, I'm going to put a listing value of £50 on it. The trader I got uh, these off, didn't want to be on camera. I was wanting to go put them on camera anyway because I've, I'm done with shooting myself in the foot as far as these videos go. Nine pairs, uh, I bought all these shoes together. I know it's boring talking about shoes, but bear with me. It's a, a really, really good deal, this. So there's nine pairs of the Breakburn boat shoes, uh, a pair of clay, C-L-A-E boots, and a pair of box fresh boots. And the breakdown is, I paid 30 pound, would you believe, for all these. And the breakdown is 20 pound each listing value for the brake burn shoes the clay boots 30 pound listing value and the box fresh 25 pound listing value huge return there obviously huge return nice pair of aku boots aku uh, military issue quite small these i think they're a size five great condition though these are actually worth more than the other pair of boots that the seller had for offer the altbergs uh, i think he wanted about 40 pound for them which that's the high end of what i'd be selling them for so i wasn't going to pick those pick those up uh, for some reason he thought these were a lot um, less significant, the Akus. So I paid just a fiver for these boots. And these will have a listing value of £35, probably 40 if they weren't such a small size. And as you know, I love, well, I don't love sharing my cock-ups, but I do share my cock-ups with you. I think it's really, really, really important that uh, it's not all just glamour and glitz and all this kind of stuff. So uh, when I cock up, I'm happy to tell you about it because cock-ups make you a stronger person. And these are the they uh, these are well on the face of it adidas trainers in pretty good condition apparently never been worn but clearly they have and these trainers are 100 percent fake and it's really obvious as well i should have done my due diligence they're not in the original box a box here for some adidas hamburgs and these aren't they just looking at the label you can tell it's just straight away that they're fake i think i only paid a fiver for these trainers so not massively out of pocket but if anybody wants a very very cheap pair of size 11 um shall we call them badidas <laughs> let me know i'll send them out to you for the cost of the postage okay moving on to today this morning sunday morning another that's starting the day with a potentially a absolutely behemoth contact i did actually vlog this bit as well but in hindsight as i mentioned earlier in the video i'm not going to share that contact as well because i'd be stupid to i'm sure you guys will forgive me on this one as well this contact is potentially a whale so um, I don't really want to dilute that. It sounds selfish, I know, particularly because of the nature of my content and the sharing and the giving and the yada yada. But I've got a mortgage to pay. <laughs> and ideally, I want to make a bit of money. So... Sorry, not sorry. So straight out of the gate, I'll tell you how much I paid for all of it, which is nine months of high dolls, three Stranger Things monopolies and Harry Potter bookends. I paid £133 for all of them. I did the initial deal on the dolls and the monopoly and then he offered me the bookends as an afterthought, which a little bit more of a chance. Anyway, the breakdown is Monster High dolls. These will be going into my Amazon stock, uh, incidentally. Monster High dolls will be going into Amazon and listed for £27 each. 
The three monopolies we're going into Amazon listing for £25 each. And I'm not going to send the bookends into Amazon. These are going to go on eBay. Some comps with these are these are weighty bookends, these are. Some comps evidencing out a listing value of £30 on that. Joe Public pickups now. Starting with Wally Dogs. I haven't picked up Wally Dogs for ages. Top tip for Wally Dogs, always buy them in pairs. They're pretty worthless on their own. They're design, they, they designed to complement each other. Uh, some people call them mantle dogs, Wally Dogs. Dogs. This is classic ceramics of Stoke-on-Trent. So not reproduction, not Chinese. Really, really pretty. Two things to note with Wally Dogs. The prettier the better or the larger the better as well. I paid £5 for the Wally Dogs and the Owl, which I'll come on to in a minute. But the Wally Dogs when we get are listed for £45. That's obviously as a pair. And the Owl, I'm not sure on if I'm honest. I'm not sure on it at all. There's no evidence for it at all for the comps. Uh, again, it's Staffordshire Pottery. Ironstone is the brand. Ironstone Staffordshire. Can't find any evidence on this as well. It might be due to rarity. It might just be because nobody wants them. <laughs> it is a bit of a, well, shall we say niche taste. I am going to put a listing value on this uh, though. I'm going to put a listing value of 20 pound on it because technically it doesn't owe me anything at all. And if it accidentally falls off the shelf in storage and I have to put it into a dustbin, then I'm not gonna cry a whole lot. Been a while since I picked up one of these as well. Ball worker, vintage ball worker. The price on ball workers is consistent. This one is, is in great condition as well. Sometimes they're missing this slider as well. So that's uh, that's a selling point. Good condition overall. There's no, uh, there's no excessive surface rust or corrosion to the chrome in. After a bit of sport with the seller we settled on six pound and that'll have a listing value of 35 pound camcorders again something you really need to knuckle down checking comps with because a lot of them now are just not worth anything at all this hitachi vm e360e bucks that trend it's got accessories with it obviously it's bag uh, cables charging cable a couple of batteries what i'm not, not expecting to be working so that should test fine pay 12 pound for that and it'll have a listing value of 70 pound Used Harry Potter stuff I normally leave alone, but uh, this caught my eye actually. This is a Harry Potter remote control wand. Controls your TV, stereos, DVDs, anything like that, which I was a bit skeptical about because it's only got one button, but apparently you program it and you control with the flick of your hand, which is pretty cool. Anyway, just paid three pound for that and it'll have a listing value of 20 pound. <laughs> Five pound paid for this Sony Blu-ray player. This is the BDP S185. It does need a remote with it, but I'm quite happy to buy a remote. The remote's only costing, I'd say, I think they're about seven or eight quid. I've bought them for this particular model in the past. Just an aftermarket remote. It doesn't need to be a, an original one, but obviously the ones with the remotes command a higher premium The offset that the expense of the remote. Like I say, five pound paid, listing value on that, 35 pound. This is really, really nice leather biker jacket. It's not entire, it's not really a recognized brand Reaver, but the style is very, very recognized. Feels really nice, soft, a good quality soft leather as well. It's the style rather than the name that will sell this jacket. I want to say I paid just three pound for it, but I'll, I'll stick a correction on screen if I'm wrong. From Robin's Island this, and I'm going to put a listing value of 50 pound on it. May have to take offers after the first cycle on it, but there's plenty of evidence of not necessarily branded uh, leather jackets of this style selling at that level. From the same seller, I got the Blu-ray player off. This is a Levi's Corduroy Sherpa fleece jacket. Paid £5 for that as well. Listing value £45. Couple of pairs of welly bobs. A barber, well, he's nothing to write home about, actually. Got a little bit carried away with the brand. Thinking festival season keeps uh, prices high on wellies. Bar Barber, very recognized brand. Paid a five a forum and listing value on those 30 pound. They'll clean up nicely as well. But we have a bolo. It's the model that makes them a bolo. These are the Hunter Balmoral. Obviously, feel free to check my homework as we in with uh, as with all cases, but the Hunter Balmoral are something a bit special. Nice selling point that they're in the box as well. But that £15 cost price is going to give me a listing value of £80. Now all the comps are at 70 to 80 pound for the this model in this condition very few examples of ones that are box 
most. And as with all cases, when you only when you find in a range of price on a particular item, always start at the high end of those prices. Apologies for sounding patronizing, but you can always reduce the price over time. You can never go up. Feature off with a couple of pairs of trainers. These Converse are quite surprising, actually. Spectacular condition, very pretty looking. They're just a pair of trainers at the end of the day. So I will say I paid £10 for both of these pairs of trainers. Uh, the Converse, probably the most I've got for a Converse in a good long while. Uh, listing value on those, £30. And the Rocket Dog, which are looking a bit faded. Rocket Dog have come down in retail value, let alone resale value. But still, they should shift quite nicely for £18. Now I sat out this weekend full of beans with fire on my belly to move mountains and it could quite easily have turned out for that not to be the case. I know I've said it, I'm going to labour this point, but it's really important to make contacts. And the best way to make contacts is talk to people about reselling, talk to people about what you do and what it means, how you go about it. Start a dialogue. You'd be amazed the opportunities that arise just from starting a conversation, whether that be in a charity shop, at a boot sale, in a retail shop, wherever. I know most people aren't as, I don't want to use the word fanatical, but hey, if the cap fits, most people aren't as fanatical as me about this kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, of course I have to have bills to pay, mortgage, blah, 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 but I love doing it as well. I genuinely feel like I've retired doing this job. So much so, it doesn't even feel like a job at all. I'm not saying that at all to brag all i'm hoping by saying that is that i offer a bit of inspiration and that's why i do these videos anyway and that's why i share the my knowledge such as it is with everybody else is so hopefully they can have wins of their own for whatever reason that might be. Anyway, if you have got any value or entertainment out of this video, please do me a big favor and hit the thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, I think you'd be crazy not to be actually because oh, there's some pearls on here. Shut up, baby, you pillock. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. Sincerely, and I mean this absolutely genuinely, guys, thank you so much for supporting this channel. It means the world to me. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.